minus 3.84 minus 0.483. Let's say 7.69 grams of oxygen. And anytime you have grams of anything, turn it into moles. And that is also true here. So seven Excuse me, Professor. Yes, question? Can someone use another method? Yes, so you can use another method. That's fine. Okay. 0 0.481. Um, yeah, so uh, let me say something like that. So there are lots of other methods you can use. And again, you just have to show your work so that I can understand what you're doing. Um, and I'm sure you understand this. People who, uh, students who just write down answers, uh, I, I wanna see your process. I want to uh, see how you think about the problem, um, whether it's homework, uh, recitation assignments, or exams. So that's all I ask. And I'll say another thing about this too. I don't need to see all of your work. Like this is very detailed. I need to see enough of your work to know how you did it, okay? And um, yeah, that's general. So scope. is the formula you gave above, like or the C sub X, H sub Y, all that, is that a general formula or is that just the formula we apply to every combustion analysis problem? Ah, good question. So um, this formula is really about how this process works. Um, this formula is not balanced because it doesn't have coefficients uh, for the O um, in fact, you can't balance this yet. Like the only thing I want you to get out of this here, and we'll talk a lot more about how to balance reactions. I think actually in lecture outline two, if I, yes, lecture outline two, we will balance reactions. The only point out of this that I want you to get is how I get that the relationship between uh, the grams and moles of carbon dioxide and find the moles of carbon in the unknown. And the same thing for hydrogen. Like, other than that, this is not a balanced reaction, um, and we can't use it to do any other calculations until we balance it. I don't know if that answers your question, but. Um. Hello, excuse me, Professor. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yes, I, ha I have another question. Also talking about, you say we have to show our work, but uh, it's a formula that we can plug in. So I, I, you cut out a little bit on me, but um, so so here's here's what how this class will work though, and I'll see. And uh, uh, if this doesn't answer your question, then I'll, I'll listen again. Um, so you're going to be submitting homework, and we'll do some homework after we finish these lectures today. Um, and like I, you're gonna, by the time we get to the first exam, you're gonna know what kind of work you have to submit because you're gonna have submitted four homework assignments. And for, especially for homework one and two, if you don't submit enough work, I will tell you and I will give you a chance to resubmit. Um, so yeah, I mean, this, this class is a negotiation in good faith, meaning you're gonna submit something and if it's, I mean, I'll tell you if it's too much as well, I'll tell you if it's not enough, I'll give you a chance to get the points, especially if you submit it early, but even on homework one, um, if you don't submit enough work on homework one, uh, yet your answer is right, I will give you the following feedback. One, okay, for homework one, you still get credit. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Homework, um, but I will, you will have a note in the feedback section that says, next time, please show more work or please show your process, okay? So by the time we get to the first exam, uh, which is you know the major points or one of the major things of points in this class, you will know what you have to show. And hopefully that sounds fair. Uh, I don't know if that answered your question, but please ask again if it didn't. Yeah, yeah, we'll work all this stuff out, right? Okay, so um, hearing no other questions right now, I'll keep going. Okay, so now we have moles of carbon, moles of hydrogen, and moles of oxygen. 
And so I'm gonna organize myself here. I'm gonna write C 0 0.320, H 0 0.479, O 0 0.481, and I know these are not whole numbers, but at least I've got everything in the right place now. Because my next step is to then divide by the smallest number, which is the 0 0.320, and see if I get small whole numbers. And then when I do that, I get C1, Uh, 0.479 and 0.481, these two are going to come out the same. We'll do them anyway. So 0.479 divided by 0.32 is 1.497, which is 1.5. And O, oh, if you do that, it will be 1.5 as well. We don't have small whole numbers yet. We have half numbers. And uh, so we could write this as C1, H1.5, O1.5, or C1, H3 halves, O3 halves. Either way, we need to multiply this by 2 to get to the empirical formula because the empirical formula has the smallest whole numbers. When I multiply all of these subscripts times 2, I get C2, H3, O3. And that is my empirical formula for this problem. Okay. Now, uh, you may have noticed that on this problem, we did get 1.5. It is not okay to round 1.5 to 2. In empirical formula problems you will see in this class, they all work out very nicely. So you should see in this problem, if you got one point, we got 1.497, that will be equal to 1.5, not two. If it's gonna be equal to two, it will be 1.98, 1.99, 2.00, 2 2.01, or 2.02. 2 .02. It'll be that close to two. So half numbers are okay for these kinds of problems. You may even see thirds, so 1.33, 1.67. But that's it. Other than that, there'll be either whole numbers, half numbers, thirds numbers. Uh, and as you practice these on the homework and on the recitation that's coming up next week, you will get a sense of what is... Question? If there's a question, I can't hear it. Feel free to type it in the chat if you'd like. All right. All right, so uh, I know we've been going for 40 minutes. I'm going to go... Actually, this is a very long problem. This is a 15-minute problem. So we're going to take a five-minute break. I've got 108. I will meet you. Let's take a six-minute break. Let's meet back here at 114. And uh, I'm going to stop recording, make sure everything's okay. All right, let's try that.